7.57 a.m. and we are, well, I'm going out for workout and my route today will basically be, uh, that's uh, Kigove city center, then I use uh, that road that goes to Ecole, Ecole Internationale, basically let's just say Kinindo, then from Kinindo we pass through Kivenga, Kivenga, Kanyosha, Kanyosha, Nyawugete, that's the route. It's a bit dark and lit at the same time. The sun doesn't want to make up its mind. But that's okay. Everybody's out to get a passport, huh? Mr. Love and Anyway, this is not so burned in here. Welcome to my channel. And uh, So this is basically rush hour in Bujumbura today. If you're gonna go out riding when you come out here, I do not recommend that you do it in the morning. You can do it at 6 a.m. or even 5, 5.30 to 7.30 should be enough of a ride wherever you go. During rush hour, it's not recommended because uh, people tend to drive crazy in rush hour. Ah, crap. Great. I just broke the bell. <laughs> uh, big deal. Guess I'll just get another one or whatever. So I'm thinking about coming up with a uh, with a mini series, you know, just to, just to uh, test and see what works on a channel and what doesn't. The mini series will be videos that are unscripted, unplanned. It's just me going out on my usual ride. Could be in the morning, could be in the evening, and. Uh, doing some commenting while I ride. shower this is crazy traffic everywhere we're gonna be delayed for a little bit when it comes to this part as soon as we get out of this area we're good now we can cruise well not yet not quite So it took me 30 minutes to get to Nyabugete last time, uh, but then again my, my focus was on getting there while conserving energy at the same time. So today I'm not filming any neighborhood or anything like that, I just want to strictly concentrate on riding. So hopefully we make it to Nyawugete in 25 minutes, which is very, very, very 
ambitious, but let's see what we do. Or rather, let's see what we're able to pull off. Everybody should be at work by now. Rush hour should be over. I guess I miscalculated it all. So yeah, by the way, uh, I just made it to 596 subscribers as of today. Today is, uh, this is Tuesday, when, uh, January 11th, 596 subscribers. So I appreciate you guys. Seems like uh, the 600 subscriber mark has been reached. I'm just falling sh four. I am four subscribers short, but that's nothing. We're gonna cover that in no time. I should really consider getting an energy drink when it comes to these rides, man. An energy drink or just uh, sugar bombs or glucose of some sort. It's the one good things about bikes when it comes to traffic. We just bob and weave through all the traffic. The camera, the camera can sustain, uh, can do about an hour 20, an hour 10 minutes recording in 2k so I'm, I'm pretty sure that I'll still be recording when we get there so the battery is not an issue what I consider to be an issue is how long it takes us to get there And you know, at some point, I thought that cycling wouldn't be a big deal in Burundi, but from what I've seen so far, there is a, there is a good amount of bikes out here. There's a good amount of people that cycle to and from work, like this guy here. Now granted, these bikes are pretty cheap because they really don't have all of the components that are, you know, the usual components that we're used to. Not even the basics, which is the Shimano Tourney, the Shimano TX series. The Shimano Altus is out of league because even I'm not rocking Altus right now. I just have a basic Shimano Tourney component. The brakes are squeaking. <laughs> I've had this bike for five months now, if not six. And I've only been seriously riding it for like four months. Still doing good, still holding up. I haven't popped a wheel thus far, none at all. I pump it up every now and then, like about twice a week. Here's another cheap mountain bike. Dude has no brakes at all. Well, at least the back brake he doesn't have. <laughs> anyway, let's take a right and uh, head on to... Shit, I should really be memorizing these roads because I don't know them at all. <sighs> 
so day the day after tomorrow I'll be recording uh, Nyawugete part 2 it'll be a five part series because like I said earlier Nyawugete is divided into five sections so yeah there's that Let's see, we've done four kilometers so far in 12 minutes. Another four in approximately 14 minutes. Huh, not bad, not bad. It's just that uh, where I currently am right now doesn't feel like I just did four kilometers. Well, I guess if it was a straight road it would feel like it's four kilometers but it feels more than that because of all the curves and the corners that I had to take okay we get that every now and then not everybody that went to driving school to get the license and most of those that did didn't finish the course they do two months or three and then just outright buy the license which is a bummer because a lot of people break the rules and it's the cause of so many accidents in the city I mean, on New Year, there were accidents everywhere. <laughs> Driving drunk, not an issue. Driving after one bottle of uh, alcohol, not a big deal. Anyway. It'll change with time because uh, I guess the more you developed, the more uh, things that you get to consider in the law. So yeah. So we've already reached Kabondo so far. That's uh, the cold bells right there. This is Kabondo, beginning and the end. And now we're entering Kake Kimindo Komunmuha. I feel sorry for feel sorry for anybody that chooses to leave home at seven heading to work. Because the traffic on this road is insane these days. There's practically someone new buying a car every month. A new car into the traffic of Bujumbura on a monthly basis if you put that into if you consider that with the fact that we don't the roads pretty much stay the same we're not expanding any roads or anything of the sort Yep, that was close, but I had the green light on me. Anyway, you just got to be careful, man. 
you have to be careful and you also need to be a car driver so that you can understand how drivers uh, behave on the road the only way to be a good cyclist in my opinion is to also be a good driver so that way you expect and you know what's coming from drivers on the road My legs are a bit shaky already. <laughs> but I just started riding, so I know I'm not tired. It's just that uh, I have to overcome that. Uh, there's a terminology for it. Where you just started working out and you feel like the workout is overwhelming you. But then if you keep going, beyond a certain point, that fatigue is gone, it disappears. So I'll reach that point soon. Two people on a mountain bike, okay. As you can see, there is uh, almost zero traffic on the road heading towards Kivenga and Kanyosha. It's because everybody heads to the city, not outside the city. And uh, unlike the other countries in East Africa, the city in the city center in Bujumbura is literally the city center. Everything is concentrated at a particular point of the city. When it comes to shops, offices, all of that, it's all in one particular part. The city center is not spread out. It is literally the city center. So here comes Kivenga, almost there. My average speed is 20 kilometers an hour. Not bad. Here we are entering into Kivenga and on to Kanyosha. The road is a little messed up between Kivenga and uh, what's that neighborhood? Between Kivenga and uh, Gisio. The road is pretty beat up, but after a certain point on the way to Rumongi, it gets better. So we just have to get past this point for now. is where it gets completely messy.
that happens every now and then almost had me but yeah he covered his street lights couldn't see them because the door is open and the door opens downwards when he does that he covers his indicators so I couldn't tell he was about to take a turn So by the way guys, if you ever consider riding, please, 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 please wear a helmet. At the very least, wear a helmet. I'm not even in full gear right now, but I have a helmet. I don't have any gloves as you can see. I didn't get them before coming here and I couldn't find any here, anywhere, so I just have to make do with this for now. You need a helmet for obvious reasons, because when you fall off a bike, <laughs> you want to make sure that your head is protected, because if you bang the head in the slightest way possible, you're screwed. Concussion, brain hemorrhage, all of that, so at least get a helmet. And then as far as gloves is concerned, also, when you happen to fall, you want to have gloves so that you can protect your palm from any scraping. You don't want to scrape your hands when you fall. Ah, too late. Okay, let's pick up let's pick up the pace again. So you need gloves, you need a helmet, you need uh you need overall apro, you know the you need cycling shorts, preferably the cycling trousers just in case you fall, you don't want to scrape your thighs or anything. The fabric will take the impact of the fall. And then you also need cycling jerseys. Preferably long sleeve, regardless of whether it's hot or not. Again, just in case you fall, you want the fabric to take the first impact. And it's not fun to scrape your skin. It's really not fun at all. We're about to get rid of the uh, bad road. Almost done. After this, the road is good. I've just had a whole 10 minute delay riding here. Just this little section. Okay, back on to speed now. Dude, this thing is going up. <laughs> Our bus is driving sideways, man. The chassis is messed up. And the police won't see that. They will not do anything about it. Ah, come on. <sighs> okay, let's get through the bump and get back to high speed. So I didn't know there was a, a neighborhood called Nyabugete before you guys mentioned it on the uh, comment section of, of, uh, of my other videos. I absolutely didn't know. So I'm glad you guys mentioned that. Yeah, I got to make content on my part and you guys got to have, uh, got to watch a video that you enjoy.
I can see that the Nyavug that the Nyavugita video is well received. You guys like it? Oh, he's trying to race. Oh, come on, dude. I've got a hybrid. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. And I do this on a regular, so I don't see the point that he's trying to prove. And he's still trying to race me. All right, good luck. Anyway. It kind of feels like I'm dragging weight. I feel heavy. I guess uh, I guess my legs didn't fully recover from the last ride. And here comes Nyawugete. I would have made it here in 26 minutes. It's 31 minutes now. That's because of uh, a bit of traffic here and there on the bad road. Otherwise, I would have made it here sooner. Oh, my suspension is squeaking. Needs a little grease, huh? I'll do that when I get back. <laughs> I know what I'm doing right now seems a little scary, especially when a truck like that passes right beside me, almost scraping me. But I can promise you, you, you get used to it. And it's, it's not all that dangerous once you get used to the environment. But I know it looks crazy, especially... <laughs> When it comes to you guys that have uh, dedicated bike lanes in Europe. Oh yeah, by the way, so we just passed uh, the entry point into Nyawugite neighborhood. What you're seeing right now on the right side is all Nyawugite. Up to a point where there is a second river. And I'll show it to you. And on the left side, I made a mistake in my previous video. It's called something. I'm gonna have to look that up to confirm. There goes an 18 wheeler. It's a 12. Three. One. 16 wheeler yeah we'll get to the beaches on the right side we just passed the entry I am yet to record this part of yeah we'll get this the second uh, the second video rather in my next video on yeah we'll get to I'll be recording this part here all of this I suppose this is yeah we'll get to two all of this so the road is good right now i feel the speed i love it when i'm speeding i hate hate riding slow and that's funny because <laughs> i used to ride uh i used to ride scooters and 150 cc bikes which is nothing but you know compared to a bicycle it's a huge gap i used to ride those and i would cruise at 80, 90, 100. So it's funny that I say that 
It feels fast right now when I'm not even topping 40. So this is how we get to part three. You guys saw the road I was looking down, I couldn't uh, point, I couldn't point to it in time. Let me stop for a quick water break. Somewhere around here. We have some water, y'all. Uh, so everybody that was uh, behind me has already passed me now. I recognize a bunch of them. Three that were behind me just just before I stopped to get a quick drink. And I hate it when people pass me. Anyway, let's pass them again. That was close. He is driving crazy. I was nearly hit. But anyway, let's pass this fast. Let's cruise on ahead. Let's see how far we've come. 12, uh, 19 kilometers in 38 minutes. Which basically means that I have 38 minutes of footage to edit down to 30 at least. Yeah. Sometimes I almost feel like I can compete in cycling races, but <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, by the way, uh, a quick disclaimer, though I guess it's, uh, it's too late for, disclaimer, not for a discla disclaimer now. If anybody is triggered by uh, by graves and gravestones my bad I uh I'm sorry but yeah they won't last too long they're done I may be crossing yeah we'll get to three or four Right now, I'm not sure. I can't tell. You're too slow for me, dog. Too slow. We're nearly at the end of Nyawugete. 
we're about to reach the second river. Coming up to Salle de Recepción Inagatovu. Seems like a market place, the market center of uh, Nyawugete. I can feel my I can feel my brake pads wearing out. <laughs> I guess about I have about a month, another month to go. I guess I have about a month to go before they completely wear out. And Lord knows I can't I can't find replacements anywhere. I'm gonna have to order them externally. I'm thinking about starting a bike business anyway, so I'll have all the parts I need in time. The river is up ahead. We are done with Nyabugete beyond that point. So that's it guys, this is not so burned in here. I will see you guys in the next video. And I think what I'm gonna do for the next video is go beyond that point. I'm going uh, towards Ramonge. So I think I'll do a second part of, uh... what should I call this mini series by the way? What should I call this? These random videos where I'm traveling in and around town. I don't know, if you have any ideas, just post them in the comment section. And I'll try and come up with a, a name for this uh, series, this playlist rather, on YouTube. But anyways, I don't want to keep you guys too long, man. This is not so Brendan here. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.